Hawaii's Kilauea volcano is showing more vigorous eruptive activity. This is much longer than the slow 3-4 to four hour eruption that preceded the second eruption, HVO wrote Friday night. The current eruption is occurring with heights of up to 30 to 45 feet from the two northernmost vents. Honolulu. The ongoing eruption at Hawaii's Kalaewa volcano became more active Friday night. According to the U.S. Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, the low-level lava flow that had been occurring since Thursday morning turned into a more vigorous flow Friday night. It's all part of the third episode of the current eruption that has been underway at Kalaewa since Monday. This is much longer than the slow 3-4 to four hour eruption that preceded the second eruption, HVO wrote Friday night. The current fountain is occurring with heights of 30 to 45 feet from the two northernmost vents. HVO added that the height of the fountain will increase as more gas-rich lava erupts. It is impossible to predict how high the fountain will be or how long it will last, HVO wrote. However, previous eruptions have produced fountains of more than 200 feet that have lasted up to 24 hours. HVO maintained an orange alert, the third of four volcano alerts that indicate a volcano is showing increased or escalating unrest. The agency said it will continue to be in contact with Hawaii Volcanoes National Park and the state's Civil Defense Agency. However, HVO said all current and recent activity remains within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. No changes have been detected in the East Rift Zone or Southwest Rift Zone, the agency said. Kilauea's second episode in its latest eruption, which began Monday, stopped shortly before 11 a.m. on Christmas Day. On Monday, around 2.30 a.m., Kilauea began erupting from the Halamaumau crater in the summit caldera. That first episode of eruption stopped after about 12 hours. However, on Tuesday, Christmas Eve, the eruption resumed. A lava fountain in the southwest corner of Halamaumau crater began spewing lava onto the crater floor around 11 a.m but the torrential lava flow quickly subsided 24 hours later. Lava began flowing back into the crater at 11 a.m. Christmas Day, according to the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. The HVO said summit inflation following the second lull suggests the eruption may have resumed, but it is not certain. Sulfur dioxide emissions remained high, with a plume of gas rising above the caldera on Thursday morning. However, the outflow of gas decreased significantly with the water source being shut off Wednesday morning. The latest eruption at Kilauea's summit is the sixth in the caldera since 2020. The eruptions have lasted from about a week to more than a year, 